So today, we have MCU Hawk taking on DCEU's Wonder Woman. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, as the daughter of Zeus and the princess of the Amazons, Diana was trained harder than any other Amazonian so she could protect herself from Ares, the god of war, if he ever found out about her true goddess heritage. She has immense physicality. She's strong enough to hold her own against Ares, Steppenwolf, Doomsday, and Superman, easily lift and throw a 29-ton tank, and easily overpower a chemically enhanced General Ludendorff. She's fast enough to easily block several bullets from several thugs at once while they are aiming at hostages instead of at her while running in a crouched position. Easily block several bullets coming at her from all sides and even dodge lightning blasts from Ares. She's durable enough to easily take hits from Ares, Doomsday, Steppenwolf, and Superman and she's unfazed by explosions as well. She has superhuman agility and stamina. Uh, she's able to fly at unknown speeds. She's a master combatant being a master of the Amazonian martial arts uh, and a master with almost all if not all Amazonian weapons and she has over 4,000 years of extensive training. She was able to hold her own against the more experienced Ares, Steppenwolf, the stronger Doomsday and she is the finest warrior of the Amazons as well. She wears the bracelets of submission, which are virtually indestructible, and when hit together can force shockwaves from her body. She carries the lasso of truth as her primary weapon. Her shield is also virtually indestructible and can even block powerful blasts from Doomsday. And finally, she also has the Sword of Athena, which is also virtually indestructible and was able to cut off one of Doomsday's arms as well. In the other corner, we have Hawk from the MCU. Trying to recreate the Super Soldier Serum, Dr. Bruce Banner was so sure that gamma radiation was the key that he purposely exposed himself to a lot of it in order to become the next Captain America, but instead he turned into a green goliath who got the name the Incredible Hulk. As a human, Banner is one of the smartest people in the world with 7 PhDs. As the Hulk, he becomes the living embodiment of rage and raw strength. He's strong enough to choke out and kill Abomination, kill a Leviathan with one punch, consistently overpower Thor, Ragdoll, Loki, lift and suplex Fenris the Wolf, uh, and even stagger Surtur with a punch as well. He's durable enough to easily survive a barrage of Jatari Blaster Fire, being impelled through the chest by Abomination's Bone Shard, hits from Mjolnir, uh, an explosion followed by a tremendous fall, being sent flying by Surtur, uh, and snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet, which permanently fucked up his arm. Actually, he's only been knocked out twice, and that was by the Hawkbuster armor and Thanos. And finally, uh, despite his large size, he's very fast and agile, being able to outpace speeding military cars and catch Mjolnir when it was thrown at him. He's arguably the most physically powerful hero in the MCU, only being surpassed by Captain Marvel. So, who's stronger? Well, Diana is strong enough to easily lift and throw a 29-ton tank, fight against Superman while holding back, fight against Ares, Steppenwolf, and Doomsday, to easily destroy a bell tower, and to overpower Ludendorff when he was on that special drug. But I think Hawk has that beat, as he's been able to consistently overpower Thor, Ragdoll Loki, send Ultron flying with a punch, kill Abomination, kill Le Leviathan with one punch, suplex Fenris the Wolf, stagger Surtur with a punch, and they'll hold up a uh, giant piece of the Avengers headquarters with one arm while still hurt and tired from snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, Hawk's stronger, but Diana will be able to hang in there. What about their ability? Well, Diana has withstood two massive headbutts from Clark, only smirked after being sent flying by Doomsday, kept on fighting after massive attacks from Ares and Steppenwolf, and has walked away from point blank, point blank explosions and fought some tremendous heights. But again, Hawk is taking the advantage as well, as he is completely bulletproof, has withstood massive hits from Thor and Mjolnir, and was only angered withstood being sent flying by Surtur, survived a point blank explosion followed by a massive fall, and he survived the snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet, which completely obliterated his arm. Hawk is also more durable. Uh, now, 
Wonder Woman is faster and more agile as she's a casual bullet timer and was able to block slash def deflect every shot from a machine gun at point blank range aimed at hostages while running crouched, easily blitz through several Germans, and body check Ares who barely reacted to it. She can also fly very fast, but we don't know how fast because we've never actually seen her flying yet. Uh, but to be honest, Hawk isn't too far behind as he's been able to easily outpace cars, catch Mjolnir, catch a dude ejecting out of a fighter jet, and uh, to destroy a Chitauri pod with one punch while in the air from a jump. Uh, he's really fast, <laughs> but Diana is still faster and more agile. So overall, Hawk is physically superior, but Wonder Woman is obviously more skilled. Without a doubt, she's been trained since a very young age for thousands of years and became the finest Amazonian warrior. Hawk just smashes things. And although this usually works out for him, it hasn't against actually skilled fighters like Thanos. And I'd say Diana is more skilled than Thanos is. But she isn't as physically powerful as him. Uh, but she also has a lot of versatility. Her lesson of truth is her primary weapon and has helped her fight against Ares, Steppenwolf, and Doomsday. Her sword and shield are indestructible and her sword has even cut off Th Doomsday's arms, who is arguably just as strong and tough as Hulk. And her bracelets are also indestructible and can project as powerful shockwaves if struck together. And in her own film, she was able to channel Zeus's lightning into a powerful blast that killed Ares. But she hasn't done that since, so it's unknown if that was just a one-time thing or not. Also, her lesson of truth didn't fare too well against Superman, who was able to use it to pull her closer to him. Uh, I think Hawk could do similar things with like that. I don't think Hawk could break her shield or anything, but he can knock it out of her hands and whatnot. And her bracelets also didn't do too well against Clark, which could happen here. The only thing she has left is her sword and her skill with it, but I can't get over how it easily cut off Doomsday's arm. If it wasn't for Doomsday's healing factor and adaptive powers, that probably would have led to his downfall. And MCU Hawk hasn't shown that he has any sort of healing factor, so cutting off a limb will do a ton of damage. And she definitely has the skill to do this. But this sword is her only chance at winning, because I can't see her speed and skill alone being enough to take down Hawk. Uh, but Hawk doesn't have any real piercing feats other than that he's bulletproof, the Hawkbuster's lasers didn't affect him or even slow him down. And he withstood Abomination's bone shard piercing through his chest a few times. None of that compares to her sword. But I think I'm going to go with the Hawk on this one. Because when he snapped with the Infinity Gauntlet, we all saw what it did to his arm. It literally became useless, as if it was cut off. And yet, just a short while later, he was fighting in the final battle in Endgame and showed no signs of being in pain. It would be a real good fight, but at the end of the day, I have to side with Hawk on this one. MCU Hawk wins. Like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and please hit the notification bell if you did enjoy and all that great stuff. Have a great day. Peace.